as they now swing the final corner. Two and a half furlongs left to cover. Earl of Tinsdale from Colour Vision. Out wide of these Saddlers Rock. Estimate is beginning to unwind. Simonon charging down the outside. Colour Vision commits. It is seeking a second Gold Cup. Estimate is after the grey. Then out wide is Simonon. They're followed by Top Trip as they run towards the final furlong. Simonon, Estimate, Colour Vision. Top Trip trying to join in. A gap to El Salvador. Estimate might just strike the front. Simonon on the near side. Top Trip finishing off well. Estimate has a neck in hand of Simonon. A royal win in the Gold Cup. Estimate has done it. Estimate and Ryan Moore has won for Her Majesty the Queen. In second place, it was Simonon. Third, coming through at the end, Altan. It might be closed. Top Trip was there. Color Vision not far. But it's all about Estimate here. A historic win in the Gold Cup of 2013. This beautifully bred daughter of Munson, bred by the Aga Khan, bred to win a Gold Cup, owned to win a Gold Cup. You cannot script sport and you cannot predict history, but we have seen here today the perfect script and a piece of history. For the first time ever, a reigning monarch has won the Gold Cup. The race first run in 1807 has been won by the Queen with this Philly estimate, trained by Sir Michael Stout, his second Gold Cup winner, ridden aggressively and viciously by Ryan Moore to make sure at the end of those two and a half miles she had enough to give and she kept giving. Simonon challenged hard, really hard on the stand side. Brilliant run as well from top trip Francois Dumans horse in between them there but Estimate really sticks her little head out and says this is mine and she has become the first filly since 1991 to win the Gold Cup and this the reaction of Her Majesty the Queen and John Warren going berserk beside her and the Queen very very calm looking up thinking is she going to do it is she going to do it she's going to and the Queen is watching her filly Estimate win the race for which she is meant to present the trophy. Her Majesty the Queen only presents two trophies during Royal Ascot and look at the delight there, the sheer joy. Magnificent scenes, the crowd seeing that as well on the big screen and responding with laughter and with applause. Because Estimate has done it and Ryan Moore, the man on board, let's hear his reaction. Well, Frankie de Tori just pulled up and he said, Ryan, you couldn't script it, and the place has absolutely erupted. Yeah, I mean, um, Sport obviously always had this face in mind, and she's won well, you know, she, she gets in, doesn't do a lot, and it's, uh, it's obviously fantastic, you know. Right, winning for the Queen here, but in, in the Gold Cup, it's just very special. In the Gold Cup, as you say, and you had such a good run round, you're in the perfect place throughout. Well, we had, we had a good draw, and, um, you know, the pace wasn't mad early on, but the beauty of this finish, she relaxes so well, and you can put her there. And like a lot of says, you have to drop them in and get them to relax. She does it for you, so it's a good, good attitude for it. And of course she was tough, wasn't she? Yeah, she was always holding them, always holding them. <laughs> well done, Ryan, enjoy it. I've been to some sporting events in my time, whether it be cricket, golf, but plenty of racing, but never have I witnessed a day or a race like that. Estimate wins for Her Majesty the Queen at 7-2 to two favourite. Simonon was second at 5-1, to one. top trip third at 7-1. to one. The fourth horse for those who got four places with Colour Vision at 12. That is all irrelevant. There's only one horse today that's relevant. It's Estimate. Her Majesty the Queen must be looking on very proudly indeed as Estimate comes back. Her valiant, tough winner of the Gold Cup. As Claire said, the first reigning monarch to win Ascot's showpiece event, and still it remains its showpiece event. And Estimate's win is significant not only for that, but also because it will ensure the future of racing and breeding for members of the royal family. And Sir Michael Stout is a man who I'm sure is very pleased to have made history, and he is with Claire. As Estimate parades in front of the crowds, here is the man who trained her. My word, she was gutsy there, wasn't she? Yeah, she showed a lot of courage because she had to beat one and then she had to stave off another, yeah. And you were watching her closely throughout the race. She was always travelling well. Always had her in a lovely position and she switches off so well. But, you know, I... I, I... I really felt it was a seriously tough task for her. I couldn't be confident at all, you know, taking on the boys that have proven over this trip. Um, 
So a great thrill, great thrill. And the girl that on the left there, yeah. Michelle, she rides her every day because she can be a pain in the backside at times. <laughs> She's a madam, is she? She's done a great job, Michelle. And Sir Michael, just a word on what it means to you to train the Queen's first Gold Cup winner here at Ascot. Well, it's a great honour and a tremendous thrill because you know, we know how much she loves this game. Fabulous. Well, you will be on the podium with her and we will wait and see who will make that trophy presentation because, as I said, normally Her Majesty the Queen presents the Gold Cup. Slightly difficult to do that when you are the winning owner. But we watch again the head on there and Colour Vision just lugging with Sylvester D'Souza a little bit. He's run another grand race last year's winner. He really has. And top trip. Great effort from him as well. But estimate, even when tired, not causing any significant interference. And that is a moment of Royal Ascot history. Ryan Moore on estimate will come back to a hero's welcome. Sir Michael Stout saddling his second Gold Cup winner after Shanga Muzo 35 years ago in 1978. An estimate herself, a half sister to Enzeli, a previous winner of this race for John Ox. And this filly, of course, the mating gifted to the Queen by His Highness the Aga Khan as a present for her 80th birthday. And this has ensured another line of blood into the royal studs that will prove hugely important in years to come and should sustain the interest of the royal family in horse racing which does so much for this fixture and for the your majesty we celebrate with you and we share your delight as estimates carrying your colors returns in triumph we salute, in the first time ever, in the colours of the reigning monarch, the winner. The fanfare announces the arrival into this circular winner's enclosure of the winner of the Gold Cup. And the cheers ring out for the Queen, who owns this horse estimate, and for the first time in her long career as an owner, sees her colours carried to victory in the most historic and prestigious race of all two and a half miles such a long and tough challenge for any horse but for a filly in particular and a four-year-old filly taking on colts and geldings for the first time as Michael Stout intimated it is a really hard thing to do and I suspect that he told the Queen beforehand that he didn't think that she could do it but as the Queen herself arrives the crowd break into applause real joy here not because the filly was favorite and many people will have supported her financially but because they know how long the Queen has been coming here to Ascot since 1945, since she was 19 years old. She had had 21 winners at this meeting until today, but this, the 22nd of them, the hardest fought, because this, the most difficult race in so many ways to win, to keep a horse fit enough and sound enough and strong enough. And the Queen comes forward, the Princess Royal is there as well. Sir Michael Stout removes his top hat. John Warren, who is beside himself with joy. And we really saw him celebrating through the closing stages. And the Queen goes forward to say congratulations to the most important member of that team of all, and that is the filly herself, Estimate. And Ryan Moore, his first winner of the week, and his first Gold Cup, in fact, of his career for Michael Stout, his second gold cup but you have to go back a very long way when he'd only just started training to find his other one and Ryan Moore explaining now how well the filly was going during the race and exactly what happened from his perspective and the Princess Royal there as well who doesn't get overexcited at much but this is a real moment Coral Pritchard Gordon there curtsying. She's Sir Michael Stout's partner. And that, the scene, I mean, six, seven deep around this winner's enclosure. And look at Ryan Moore. The smile is reserved for only the most special occasions. And this is one and a photograph he may well keep for a long time. And the Queen waving there. 
as he went past the grandstand. So Michael's reaction is he watched it and you can see, oh no, is she going to hang on? Is she going to hang on? Just nervously hoping and hoping and then turns to Coral who gives him a big kiss. And the live shots now. And the thing about racing is, you know, nobody's going to pull up and let you win because it's a good story. Everybody trying their hardest to take the prize and only the toughest, strongest horse would succeed. And in the event, the horse that could do it was Estimate. Winning here at Royal Ascot for the second year in a row and last year it was the Queen's Vase. And the presentation on that occasion was made by the Duke of Edinburgh, which just happened to be the one race of the week that he wanted to make the presentation for and ended up presenting the trophy to Her Majesty the Queen. He will be watching on television and enjoying this every bit as much as the crowd here at Ascot. And there genuinely has never been a result quite like it because this is the biggest crowd of the week and everybody knows the Queen's colours and... Everyone was aware of the chance this filly had. And what an incredibly emotional afternoon. Lady Cecil winning the Ribblesdale, followed straight away by the Queen winning the Gold Cup. I cannot remember a day at Royal Ascot like it, I really can't. And Estimate has now been given the signal that she can leave the winner's enclosure but not before she just waits, pricks her ears and says, yes, indeed, I am. I am the best of the lot. And the Queen steps forward to say well done once again. And Kirsty Shawford, who looks after her. Oh, a great moment for her as well. And I suspect the Princess Royal may be stepping in to make the presentation. So there is a steward's inquiry, but not, it will not affect the placings, we're being told. And there is the head of a Gold Cup winner. She's by the German stallion, Monson, out of a very good Aga Khan mare called Ebba Zaya. Jim will take you through the pedigree in more detail later on. But she will eventually retire to Sandringham Stud and more winners will be bred from her. But Ryan Moore removing the royal silks so that he can weigh up for the next. He'll put them on again before the trophy presentation, I can guarantee that. But the Queen has two more runners to come. And remember, we're live on air on Channel 4 right through this afternoon, all until 6 o'clock, sea shanty in the next in the Queen's Colours in the Britannia. And arguably the, the one of the day was Bold Sniper, also for Michael Stars and Ryan Moore in the last race, the King George V stakes. But the Gold Cup itself, one of the few trophies that is given to the winning owner and kept by them, rather than returned every year. And I mentioned that it was first run in 1807. There wasn't a great deal of prize money that year, but now it is a race that is worth £350,000 in total, 155000 of that is given to the winner. I think actually the Duke of York is the... Uh, as the one who, who wasn't, was in the Royal Procession but not on the list to, to make the trophy presentation will be taking over from the Queen to make the trophy presentation for obvious reasons. And the announcement is made that His Royal Highness the Duke of York presents the Gold Cup to the winning owner, Her Majesty the Queen. And you can see how deep the crowd is. Difficult even for our cameras to get close enough to see a clean shot of the trophy presentation. We also congratulate the winning trainer of Estimate, Sir Michael Stout, ladies and gentlemen. And Sir Michael Stout comes forward, his first winner of the week, but at one that was worth waiting for. And of course, we're giving Estimate a terrific ride around Ascot this afternoon, our winning jockey, Ryan Moore. And Ryan Moore now, and a huge cheer as well for him. 
Frankie de Torre was explaining earlier how patient you have to be when you're riding in the Gold Cup and how strong through the closing stages. And it was that patience combined with the strengths that helped estimate every step of the way. And a really lovely moment as well for Kirsty, who gets a memento and a silver photo frame for her, into which I suspect this picture will go. Kirsty Schofort with the Duke of York, Ryan Moore, Her Majesty the Queen and Sir Michael Stout. What a day. And you can see in the background there John Warren with his arms gripped across his chest. I mean, it's just hugely exciting for him as well. He's the Queen's Bloodstock and Racing advisor. And you take years plotting a moment like this and then you just cross your fingers and you hope that it might happen. And that's all you can do. But when you've got a filly as brave and as strong as this, it certainly helps. You have to have a willing partner. And Ryan did. And the Queen will be smiling for the rest of the day, for the rest of the week. That is an ambition fulfilled. It really is. Johnny Weatherby there, Her Majesty's representative, and John Warren in the black silk topper, I think, discussing now whether they will stay down in the paddock. I suspect they will. It was a terrific finish. A great finish to the race, and I, as I mentioned in, in racing, and Princess Hire of Jordan and Sheikh Mohammed offering their congratulations to the Queen as well. But as I mentioned, none of the other horses were going to pull up and let that happen. Sheikh Mohammed's son there on the right saying, well done. And Sheikh Mohammed obviously won the race last year, and Colourvision was placed in it again this year. And just so much shared knowledge there and shared experience of of races that go right and races that don't. But you remember on the days when everything falls into place, you have to enjoy it. Because you can't make moments like this happen. Doesn't matter how long you've been owning or breeding or training horses or being associated with them, it doesn't fall into place like this that often. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a moment of history. This is the first time a reigning monarch has ever won the Gold Cup. And the Queen receiving the trophy from her son, the Duke of York. The highlight of Royal Ascot. And it may well be.